Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Carne Asada Tacos. So when we talk about carne asada, which literally translates to grilled meat, what we're really talking about is steak. And there's a couple of cuts of steak that are kind of my go-to cuts for carne asada. The first being skirt steak, which I absolutely love. And the second, which is a bit more accessible, is flank steak, and that's what we're working with today. So this flank steak weighs in at about two pounds, just a little bit over. Uh, this cut generally is a little bit tough. I mean, you can see we have these long muscle strands that run all the way along. Not a ton of uh, intramuscular fat. There is some on the surface, which in fact, I mean, some of this stuff just needs to get trimmed off because that's just gonna go to waste in the end. Um, but because it's a little bit tougher, there's a couple things we wanna do to this piece of meat to tenderize it. First being a man manual tenderization. So we're gonna pound this nice and thin so it's all kind of one layer. The other thing that we're gonna do is uh, put it into a kind of marinade brine. We're gonna work with some acid and with some salt to kind of open up the pores, take on some liquid, and start to tenderize the meat. Um, and we'll get to that here in just a moment. I just want to make sure that if there's anything like this thick silver skin on the surface that we can get rid of, we're going to do that. Um, especially with a flank steak here, kind of at this thicker end, sometimes that sort of runs through the piece of meat and you have to mangle it to trim it, so I'll skip this part. Uh, but anything that's on the surface here, we can get rid of that. For tenderizing this, we like to put a piece of plastic over the top to keep everything from flying all over the place. And we're not gonna use either of these textured sides. We're gonna use the flat side of the mallet and just pound it out nice and thin. You can kind of push it in the direction that you want it to go as you're pounding. And as you can see, we're getting a much more even level all the way across so that this side is the same thickness as this side. And that's what we're looking to do. We're kind of opening up these muscle fibers, which are still gonna be long and stringy, and that's fine, because we're gonna chop this down in the end. This is a good way to get started with that tenderization. So that is looking just right now. Nice and thin all the way across. Now that we've got our manual tenderization out of the way, we're gonna work on our chemical tenderization, which is the marinade. We're gonna start the marinade with our Sweetwater Spice Trace Chili's Fajita Bath. Uh, now this is apple juice based. It's got some tomato, some onion and, onion and garlic. It's also got ancho, chipotle, and cayenne peppers in it. So a great base, a great place to start for carne asada. Also gonna add some of our taco seasoning to it, about a tablespoon of the Cattleman's Grill Mexicano. We've also got this Magi seasoning. Um, this is kind of similar to soy sauce, not quite as salty, so you could sub some soy sauce in there if you, if you don't have that. Uh, but it's great umami flavor. And then from there, we wanna add some citrus. So we've got three limes and three oranges. We're gonna get all the juice out of all of this citrus and add that to the mix as well. We've got all that juice we're gonna add. And then the last thing we're gonna do is about a half cup of chopped cilantro. We're actually gonna work this down with the blender so that we just work all of that cilantro flavor right into the liquid. Just real quick in the Vitamix, just enough to break that cilantro all the way down and work that flavor all the way into the liquid. We're gonna pour that right into a large zip top bag drop our flank steak in there and you want to let this marinate for about two hours minimum probably about eight to ten hours maximum i feel like two hours you really start to notice the difference beyond like eight hours you start to kind of really cook it chemically so you don't want to go that much further but this is something you could throw in at the beginning of the day leave it in there for the work day come home and grill it at night get most of that air out of there and throw it into the fridge Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers adjustable flat top charcoal grill. So we're gonna get started with two chimneys of lump charcoal. Throw a couple fire starters underneath each one. And we'll let these get just ripping hot until it's gray all the way to the top. 
So there's really only two toppings that are going with our carne, carne asada tacos. One of them is an avocado salsa. So we're just gonna roast off some jalapenos, some tomatillos right here on the chimney while this is warming up, get some color on these so we can put our salsa together. Now the other thing we gotta whip up is some pico de gallo. So we're gonna start with some white onion and I wanna dice this fairly small. So one cup of diced white onion, we're gonna add to that one cup of diced tomato. So we'll add that to the mix. Next, we're gonna move on to our peppers. And today we're using serranos. Back at the grill now, the tomatillos, they came off a couple minutes ago. They're softened, that, they've got some color. That's what we're looking for. Kind of the same thing with our jalapenos. We want them blackened on the outside so that skin will release from the flesh. And we're also gonna steam these to help that along. We'll just cover this with some plastic wrap and let those jalapenos steam in there for the next five to 10 minutes. And our charcoal, which is hot to the top now, is ready to dump. Now serranos have got a little bit more heat to them than jalapenos, but you certainly could use jalapenos in their place if you like. We're gonna keep the heat today using the serranos and just leaving those seeds in there. Got about a half cup of the serranos minced down. I'm gonna add that to the bowl as well. And then we need to break down about a half cup of cilantro. Now we're gonna hit it with a couple tablespoons of lime juice. I don't have to get too uh, scientific or accurate with this, something you can just do to taste. And of course, we're gonna need a little bit of salt. Today we're using the Jacobson black garlic salt. Give that a good mix and we'll just let that sit. Marinate, all those flavors soaking up the lime juice, getting to know one another. That can hang out in the fridge until we're ready to serve it. Now it's time to put together our avocado salsa. These peppers, we're gonna get the skins off of, but the tomatillos and all that juice that's gathered in there, that can all go into the blender. We're gonna blitz this down until it's smooth. The jalapenos, we just wanna get rid of that skin and the seeds. So all we're left with is this nice tender, smoky flesh of the pepper. These avocados will just split in half and get that pit out of there and then scoop all the flesh right into the blender as well. So this is a really easy salsa to put together. Obviously the majority of it is avocado. You could almost call this like a guacamole uh, because there's not much more to it. Just a couple of peppers, some avocado. Of course we got the tomatillo which kind of brings in the salsa aspect. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of salt and water to thin it out to your desired consistency. We're gonna use that same Jacobson black garlic salt in the avocado salsa as we used in the pico. So we'll get juice of half a lime in here. We can always adjust this later if we want a little bit more. That's a good jumping off point. Definitely gonna wanna thin this out just a little bit with some water. All right, it's looking smooth. Let's check the consistency here. Yeah, see I want that to the point where you could almost like squeeze it out of a bottle if you wanted to. Uh, it should be able to kind of coat everything that's going on on top of that taco. This is looking really nice, let's taste it. Ooh, so creamy. You definitely get that fresh avocado flavor with the back end heat from the jalapenos, which have got a good kick to them today. Nice smokiness, salt's right, acid's right. I'd say we're good. We're ready to grill off the flank steak now, so it's coming straight out of the marinade and onto the grill. So we're gonna cook this with the lid open so that we can try and get some color on the outside before the inside's well done, which this is going to go to a medium plus heat just fine because we're gonna chop it down. It's still gonna be plenty juicy and tender when we're done. All right, so we're getting some nice color. 
on our flank steak. We're going to flip this over, get some color on the other side. And this will be fully done by the time we get a little bit of color underneath there. So we'll be pulling this off here in just a few minutes. All right, so flank steak's looking good. We're going to pull this guy off. I'm just going to let this rest here for a few minutes before we chop it up. And while we're doing that, we're going to throw some tortillas on the grill. So shout out to Caramello for sending us some of their pork fat tortillas. Not only, I mean, I would pay as much as they asked us to, to use these, but they are so kind that they send them to us just to use for these videos. And we appreciate you guys so much. So they just need a little bit of time to kind of puff up, get a little color on there. What's happening right now is right there in the center creating a bunch of steam, which is causing it to puff up. We're warming up that pork fat in there, that lard. We get just a little bit of color, which turns into a little bit of flavor. All right, so this has had just a little bit of time to cool down now. We're gonna give this a really good chop, fine pieces, because again, these muscle fibers, you can see it right here, running really long. So that long stringy muscle fiber, if you just cut off a piece like that and ate it, you'd just be chewing on that forever. So we're gonna cut it in that direction and then we're gonna cut it down further to make those fibers really short, which gives you the illusion of being a very tender piece of meat, even though it's a relatively tough cut. I'm gonna toss that around on the board just a little bit to soak up any juices that have leaked out while we're chopping. Not hard for that meat to soak it right back up. Just give it a little bit of a run through there. Now don't forget about the juices collected right there in the tray while this was resting. A lot of flavor in there. Wanna work that in, as well as just a little bit more of our Mexicano seasoning. This really works great as a finishing dust. All right, our carne asada is now packed full of flavor. Let's build some tacos. Let's start by lining up some tortillas. The best tortillas in the world. Then we're gonna fill them with our carne asada. We're gonna hit them with some of that avocado salsa. Of course, you can just, just do guacamole is fine too, but I feel like with carne asada, you gotta have some avocado present. And then of course we've got our pico de gallo. Little beak of the rooster to finish it off. Now if I'm gonna do a cheese with our carne asada, a nice dry crumbly cheese like cotija is the way to go. All right, let's get a bite. Mmm. The freshness of the pico right off the bat. That and the creaminess of the avocado. So fresh. Great little bit of spice to it. And then that steak, which is just ooh, savory, packed full of flavor. Mmm. All wrapped up and the best tortilla money can buy. It's a perfect balance of grilled, that grilled texture, that smoke flavor, the creaminess, the freshness. I love this taco. And there's a reason why carne asada tacos are such a classic. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue or barbecue legends are made.